YouTube channel first time give the video a like so today you see I'm in the kitchen today today I'm going to show you how we prepare our porridge this is porridge so much we drink it as a breakfast in most of our African homes so guys before we continue give the video a like don't forget to subscribe man it's a very nice thing if you subscribe to our channel man so today I'm going to prepare for you you see the way we start we have this uh, saucepan here with some water inside so we, what first thing we do we put on for the water to boil when the water is continuing to boil we take this uh, millet or, or this finger millet or maybe you can take the one that has been mixed with so many finger millet sorghum with some uh, maybe fish meal yeah but it depends with your flavor but so most of the time we use finger millet so this is finger millet as you can see this is finger millet you can see it here so the first step when the water continues to boil here we take water you take water you put to pour it inside this bowl here you pour water inside this bowl now you make it into a paste You make it into a paste with my finger millet here you make it into a paste you can see it's coming out into a paste yeah. so you should stir it until it is uniform uniformly evenly spread inside here to move these bumps inside here do not allow them to be inside here so it should be a smooth paste so most of the time you go to the shop you find some of the this flour is fermented yeah and some other seeds it's not fermented so it depends with the variety you want or your taste so most of us usually use the fermented one because it has some taste you can also use this one this one is also used in the making of local brew it's called busa so busa they go and grind maize meal and mix with uh, this finger millet so they mix with this finger millet they also mix with the yeast then they ferment it so they can ferment it for around uh, one week after one week fermentation then they can it, it becomes alcohol they can continue with the process maybe after fermentation they can also do what we call um, distillation we come with this gin so as we continue my water is now boiling so i have this for stirring so the paste is already here you can see the paste is already here the water is now okay now the water is now boiled you can see the water is now boiling the water is now boiling now next step is after the water boiled you now pour the paste inside while stirring you now pour the paste inside while stirring Now you stir until it's uniform. You can see now I'm stirring it now. You stir it until it's uniform.
Next step is you reduce the amount of heat. Reduce the amount of heat. So ensure first that the water is boiled. Because if the water is not yet uh, boiled until it's bubbling, the it will the porridge will take a long time to to be fine. Yeah. Also, you see now it is evenly stirred. You don't have those big big particles inside. All the particles are evenly evenly spread inside. Now, after you reduce the heat, give it some time to to continue to to cook. Let's give it some time to cook. So you can see the way it is now cooking. Now you reduce the, the amount of heat. So when you reduce the amount of heat, so when you reduce the amount of heat, it will, it will not uh, be too much uh, overboiling. When you when it's overboiling, it will get out of the, uh, the the saucepan and pour down. So you control the amount of heat with it. Now I've controlled the heat. Now it's, you see now the heat is now controlled. Now it's cooking slowly, slowly. Now the boiling, the bubbles are not too much I've controlled the bubbles also it, uh, it is a safety measure when they bubble too much they can burn you now I've controlled them now let's give it time to cook now we'll give it some time to cook before we add in some things inside Now as it continues to boil, you see now I've controlled the heat, it's not, of, of, it's not uh, bringing in so much uh, bubbling up. Now, you, as this stage reaches this stage, you can, if you have some kind of lemon, you can add. If you have some, you want some addictives, you can add them. But the, the mostly added one, I'm going to add it. Just, just wait, just wait, you see the next one I'm adding in. To, to put some flavor inside number one it's milk so you can add some small milk if you wish like just for the flavor I'm not putting in so much milk Now after adding some milk, now you stir it also. This milk is just for giving it some flavor. You stir it again. stirring it again now I've increased the amount of heat also because when I added in some milk the temperature lower down now I also increase the amount of heat for it to continue you see the bubbles are now coming up now it's okay, again boiling now also at this stage also at this stage you can add sugar to taste some people also add uh, salt but it depends with you some people don't add anything they just drink it like that let's see 
other people add salt. They add salt. Yeah. Others add with the sugar to taste. This is continue boiling again. So also to taste, you can add in sugar maybe to just small sugar, not too much sugar. Then you come and stir it also. Others don't add a uh, sugar, they just drink it like that. But even for me, I like when it's not having sugar. But this one I'm cooking for some friends of mine who are going to drink it. So only like that. Give it some time to boil also to cook. Now guys, in maybe 15 minutes, it will be okay if you want to cook. It depends on the size of the saucepan, but specifically 15 minutes, it's okay. So this one, it's now okay. 15 to 20 minutes is already okay. So guys, one thing you can do, subscribe, like, share, Comment how you cook porridge in your country. Next thing, welcome for a cup of nice, authentic African breakfast porridge. Meet you next time. Bye. Now it's ready, you can pour it into a cup now. And drink, but it's too much hot now. Wait for it to cool down, then I drink it. Bye!